Hi and welcome to this tutorial on uh, creating an end table. This is for my grade 11 3ds Max class. Um, this is what we're going to do. We're going to start off in the creation panel and go to box. Under keyboard entry, we're going to create uh, a box that is uh, roughly the size of an end table, sort of the top block. Um, so let's say uh, 24 inches by, uh, let's say, maybe 18 inches. Okay, and give it a height of, let's say, uh, 10 inches. Okay, and we're going to create that. Now, while we still have this open, uh, let's change the length segments to 3, width to 3, and height to 3. Okay, um, I'm going to maximize my perspective viewport and turn my um, edged faces on. Okay, so I'm going to switch over to the top view and zoom in a little bit. What we're going to do is we're going to pull these edges around so that, um, I'll just show you here, we're going to pull these edges around so that we can uh, sort of build the face of our cabinet. This is going to be our end table face and it's going to have a fake drawer. It's going to have a little uh, um, piece of wood on top for the uh, for the tabletop and then we're going to extrude some legs down. Okay, So switch over to a top view and zoom in a little bit. Right click on your box and we're going to convert it to an editable poly. Okay, that way once we're in poly, we're going to go to sub-object edge and uh, make sure that up along your top menu, you've got your window crossing turned on. Okay, it's the little fence. So the fence is either going to be um, uh, crossing uh, the box or it's going to be inside the window. So we want it inside the window. And this means that when you make a selection, the only thing that you can select is the thing that is ins uh, completely inside uh, your fence. Um, and it won't select things that are just touching. So I'm going to move each of these edges over and then I'm going to move each of these edges up and down and I'm trying to make squares in the corner. I'm doing this so that this is basically where my legs are going to be extruded from. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Uh, you can now switch to a, a front viewport or a left viewport, it doesn't matter. And we're going to do the same thing with the top edge. All right, we're just going to, oops, I'm just going to grab it and uh, we'll move it up just a little bit and I'll move my other one down a little more. And this is where the drawer is going to wind up being. Okay, so um, I guess we can start by making the drawer. Let's switch to a perspective viewport just so you can, just so you can see it. Okay, and uh, I'll just move it around a little bit so you can see it, get a good look. Now find your long edge. Right. This is my long edge here. I'm going to go to Subobject Polygon and we're just going to taper this down a little bit. So go into Subobject Polygon and grab that poly and uh, we'll use bevel. And it's a very small amount, but we're just going to go out a little bit and bevel down. Okay, and that's basically going to be our drawer. Uh, it's pretty simple, right? This is just um, uh, sort of a pretend drawer. If we were going to model this so that the drawer actually could open and close, we'd have to do it a little differently. Uh, this is going to be one of these fake drawers. Um, and now let's do the tabletop. So sub-object polygon still. Uh, we're going to go through and just hold down control and click all of these polys. Now there's a bunch of ways of doing this and realistically we could just take a new box and stick it on top. What I'm going to do is extrude this just a little bit Okay, and then I'm going to go to my scale, and I'm just going to scale this up. And that's going to figure out how much overhang I want. And then I'm going to bevel it, and I'm just going to go bevel up a little bit, and in a little bit. And that gives me a nice crisp edge that looks as though it's a separate piece of wood. Okay, now we're just going to uh, look underneath, and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to grab these four polygons by holding down the control Whoa, by holding down the control uh, uh, key, and I'm going to zoom out a little bit so I can see. And we can, again, we can bevel these so we can just extrude them down. Oops, I'm just going to grab them and extrude them down. Okay, and just a little bit of a bevel, just to give them a little bit of shape. And, well, that's that's about it. There you have it. That's our, uh, that's our finished... Uh, our finished little uh, end table. Uh, that's pretty good. I guess while we have time, why don't we make a why don't we make a lamp to go on it? Switch over to your front viewport. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my end table, turn off edible poly, and I'm going to move it up. Actually, I'm going to move it down to here. 
All right, if you can see your, your dark line here, that's your zero axis. And that's not a bad place to do it because that way everything is gonna now be built on that line. So I'm just gonna zoom right in. There we go, we're right on our front view. And um, all right, let's go to creation panel and go to align tool. What we're gonna do is make just sort of a bottle shaped lamp. So I'm gonna use my, uh, one of my grid lines as a, as a guide and I'm gonna go out here and I'll go up to the top again. Close the spline. Now, if you want to, at this point, you can go to your modify panel and you can go to your sub object vertex and you can move these around. You can change them into different uh, types of lines by right clicking on the vertex and you can choose it to smooth or bezier or bezier corner uh, to get different feels. Um, you can just simply move them around a little bit so that they're looking pretty straight. And I'm going to adjust that one a little bit and I'll adjust this one a little bit too. And that looks pretty good. Okay. Once you're happy with your half cross section, we're going to lay that using a lathe modifier from the modifier drop down list. Press L on the keyboard and that gives us lathe. Now, right now it's lathing right around the middle. Okay. We want it to lathe on the right hand side, which would be the maximum. Okay. And um, not bad. There's our lamp base. Um, now, again, it, it depends on how detailed you want to get. Do you want to make a cord? Do you want to make an on off switch? Um, we're just going to keep it really simple here uh, and let's make a light bulb. So again, we'll go to a line and uh, we'll make a light bulb. Again, this is in the, uh, in the front viewport. Now I made a really ugly light bulb there, so I'm just going to have to fix it. I'm going to zoom in on my bulb and uh, I'm just going to move these points around a little bit by going into sub-object vertex. So of course I, I really screwed up. I'm working on my dining room table here and it's not the best for mice. Uh, I'm just gonna do it like that and I'm gonna move this like this. I'm gonna switch this to a Bezier corner and drag it over like that. And I can move this one up a little bit. That's not a bad looking light bulb. That's a little too low. There we go. So there's my light bulb again, half cross section. Again, when we lay that, it, it's going to lay right along this y axis. So I have to move it over to the right hand side when I lay it. So again, we're just going to go uh, L on the keyboard, and that'll bring us down to lathe. And you can see it's it's good, but it's it's kind of rotating around the middle. So I just got to go to the max. That should do it. That's not a bad light bulb. It's good enough for me right now. And uh, I'll just move that down onto my lamp. And finally, I'm going to go to my top viewport. I'm just going to zoom out a little bit. And um, I'm going to make a, uh, a lampshade. So I guess we could do that by making a tube. So go to your creation panel and go to standard primitives and tube. And uh, we'll start right about here. And I can look from the top view. It's got to be a little bigger than the base. There you go, pretty thin and give it a little bit of height. That's great. I might have made it too tall. We'll see. I'll just spin it around. Oh, it looks like I made it too short. No problem. First, I'm going to move it up. All right, so it's sort of sitting in the right place. And I'll modify it. I'll just change its height. Just something a little more reasonable. That's nice. And maybe I'll put a bend modifier on it. And uh, ooh, I don't want to angle it. Uh, oh, sorry, not a bend modifier, I want a taper modifier. What am I doing? Let's get rid of that modifier. Let's go down here for T for taper. And uh, there's my taper. And we're going to increase the amount, decrease the amount. Gorgeous. All right. So there you have it. That's a really quick um, end table with a lamp. My lamp's a little small. No big deal. I'm going to just select all the parts in the lamp. And I'm going to scale it up. And voila, that's a little better. Okay, so there's my lamp and my table. This is going to go into your living room um, along with the couch and all those other things. See you later.